Let's hear from Ted Victor, who's in Washington. Ted, what's the latest on the China Sea conflict? Sally, it's looking very grave indeed. We've been shown more satellite evidence of Chinese nuclear deployments off the coast of Taiwan. I have to say, these pictures don't leave much room for argument. Thank you, Ted. The president warned tonight that unless Chinese submarines were withdrawn immediately from the area, the response would be, and I quote, devastating. going to tell me everything about your mission. We will start at the beginning with Alpha. Alpha? Yes. Remember, start at the beginning. Beginning. The beginning. Think back. I was betrayed. But, but who? Why? Where did it begin? I was on the beach. First leave I'd had in years. Then Alpha called. There's an agent missing, an American. I know that we should let the Americans look for him, but they need our help. It's your friend, Kiefer. I'm sorry, John. He was undercover in Bulgaria, wrecking a uranium mine. They lost contact. The CIA are convinced he's alive. They want us to find him and get him out. You'll be back on a beach in no time. I promise. Tell me about Volgia. Volgia. Hmm. Officially, a peace of state town between China and the old Soviet Empire. Unofficially, a very nasty place indeed. Ethnic cleansing, concentration camps, and of course, a resistance movement. The VFF, run by your contact, a charming gentleman named Greg Ogstoff. You'll know him by bad breath and worse habits. 24 hours later, I'm taking a breakfast meeting with Kotov himself, outside a dodgy uranium mine. <coughs> Alpha's intelligence on Kostov was spot on. This is the place. Thanks, Kostov. If you need help, English, you ask me. <laughs> Actually, Kostov, I could do with some help. What do you want to know? What's the last contact you had from Kiefer? Uh, he said he found what he was looking for and to get the beers ready. <laughs> then nothing. Now he's probably dead. Or wounded. Or he has given himself up. My orders are to get in and find him. <laughs> You're a bigger fool than he was. They will find you. And then they will kill you. I'll risk it. Tell me about the setup inside. The place is swarming with guards, so don't think you can shoot your way in. Use your brain, eh, uh, English? Who knows? Maybe that fancy Remora gadget will connect to their computers. Talk to the technicians. They might help you. Most of them want to be here even less than you do. How do I contact you? You don't. Unless you truly have to. I'll be listening in to your Remora frequency. How do I get past the guards? Same way I got Kiefer past the guards. I distract the sentry, you creep past. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little predictable? Nothing in Volgia is predictable. I guess Kiefer found that out the hard way. So how do you get me out? <laughs> you get yourself out. I'll be waiting with transport. Trust me, English. Trust is something you earn, Kostov. Till then, we're just working together.
Hey, friend! I need help. This is restricted zone. Clear off. Get out of here. My friend, my friend! My car came off the road. It's Kiefer's mugshot on a wanted poster. Foreign agent escaped from custody. Shoot on sight. Poor old Kiefer. Never did make friends easily. There's a deep ravine spanned by a heavily guarded bridge. What the... Kostov is creeping around the perimeter fence. What the hell does he think he's doing? Hey, you. What do you want? Just done the beer delivery. Any chance I can get a wash? Did the gate guard radio through your clearance? Yes. Okay. Shower room's over there. Door on the left. Thank you, my friend. I won't be long. You going to listen to the match? Uh, maybe, Alexei. Let's meet for a beer later. Come on, hold it together! Excuse me. Sorry, I'm really busy here. That's all right. I'll ask someone else. Heavy-duty excavator. A heavy-duty excavator. That's some digger. Yeah, twin cam, turbo diesel. You won't get finer anywhere. Except it's broken. What's the latest on that foreign agent? Still out there somewhere. So they're keeping security tight. He knows what he's doing, all right. They reckon he climbed across the ravine on a rope, like a monkey. I can't say I blame him wanting to get to the other side. Nothing much happens over here. Hi. Thank you. 